How's it going guys? It's Najam. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do noise reduction in raw images using raw therapy. First off, I want to show you the before and after. So this is the after image and this is the before image and we're going to zoom into 100% and you can see the difference. Now I have opted to lose some detail in the image just for a cleaner shot. But if you want, you can get a cleaner image, although in this situation it would have been really really grainy but if you look in the background you can see the difference in the background you can see so much more cleaner and let's have a look around on this side you can see we've gotten rid of the noise i've tried my best to keep the details and i think this is not so bad so let's get started here now first off i want to show you the circumstances the best thing to do to get rid of the noise is actually get a best exposure uh, when you're out in when you're out and about shooting and that means using a slow shutter speed as in a quarter of a second in, in this case and this will reduce the iso number so if you shoot, shoot in shutter priority you will be able to reduce the noise now if i go ahead and show you this image which we're going to be editing the one with 25th of a second um but if i want to go ahead and show you this you can see that it is really really blurry now there are circumstances where you can't use a slow shutter speed because of action. In this case, this image was shot at night time and the reason it looks so bright is because it's been boosted up. This is the actual image where it looked like, which is what the sensor saw. It is quite a bit dark, it is under street lighting and there was just a little bit of blue sky but that wasn't really enough to brighten up the image. So best thing to do is get a longer exposure if you can. Now, in this example that I'm showing here, I wasn't able to do that. That's why I shot 1 25th of a second. And the other thing I, I want to know is that this is shot on the TZ100, which has a 1 inch sensor and it is shot at ISO 3200. And so it's not going to be the cleanest sensor uh, and the cleanest image. And you can tell just by looking at the before and after files that it is very, very noisy at ISO 3200. Now, with that out of the way, let's get started with the noise reduction. I'm going to show you how I process my images and do noise reduction on them. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is just editing the image to make it look like the way you want it to. This actually looks pretty good, uh, an underexposure low light image. Uh, I've started off with the neutral profile, but I'm just going to put my custom one on. And basically it's just the auto level to set and then some distortion correction. But as you can see, because we've boosted up about almost two stops, this will be equivalent on a 1 inch sensor of ISO or 10,000 or something along those lines, which is a really high ISO. Um, so let's go ahead and zoom in and have a look around. As you can see, it's noisy. We're going to clean it up. Now, first thing I like to do is increase the ex contrast. This is the sRGB contrast, which means it will move the colors about, which uh, it will make it more saturated. Uh, let's boost it to 50. Um, because I want this image to pop and this looks a lot better. Um, now, because I have increased the uh, contrast, it's made the brights brighter and the darks darker. Now, this means the noise, while it is going to be accentuated, you can reduce the exposure. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to just go ahead and put 1.5. Uh, I want to... Let's go down to 1. I think that looks a bit better. So you can see a bit more detail. But because now it's a darker exposure, this will be uh, pushed, uh, the noise will be pushed deeper into the shadows. Now for an image this noisy, the next thing I like to do is actually go over to the raw tab. And I want to put on LMMSE, which is designed to reduce noise. And as you can see, it has got to change the pattern. Um, uh, and then after that, um, uh, another tip is that you turn off all sharpening. So we're not going to be using any sharpening right now. Uh, let's go over to the detail tab and I've got noise reduction turned on but everything is set to zero as you can see that is everything off. Uh, the pro the mode I use is aggressive and you can try out different ones. Uh, you want to turn on impulse noise reduction which gets rid of a lot of the impulse noise. And I do have local contrast on. Uh, if you want to turn that on you can just put that on it just increases local contrast. So what to do first is go ahead and put the lumens on, on all the way to the max and this is going to show you the color noise. Now what you can do is just go up by 5, so this is what I normally do, I go up by 5, you can see the noise over here, uh, we might want to try 10, that's a bit cleaner, <clears throat> and that looks, that looks a lot cleaner, but I think I want to go to 15, 
Uh, let's go ahead and do that because it might clean up a bit more. Boom, there we go. So 15 is uh, where I, I'd say the color noise has pretty much gone uh, or is smushed out enough so that you can't see it. After that, uh, we want to get rid of the luminous noise. So what we do is we increase detail slider to zero and we're just going to increase the luminous noise until it all looks like mush, which is about, I think about 55 would be okay on this one. Now, of course, uh, the detail is disappeared. So we want to get some of that back. And to do that, we're going to increase the detail recovery slider. And as you can see, the noise is coming back in, which means this is a very noisy image. But we can actually do local adjustments. Uh, let's go ahead and put this on to about 30. Of course, it's going to be noisy. Uh, in the shadows, we want to get rid of this noise. As well as on this side. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, now, this is what I normally do. Uh, if this is the case, which is, it doesn't, this doesn't look good, it looks very noisy in my opinion. Uh, it is time to go on to the local adjustments. So there are other methods you can use. We're going to go into local adjustments, we're going to turn one on, we're going to add uh, a spot which is going to be a full image. And we're going to move the spot down to this area because that's the noisy one. And we're going to show additional options. And we're going to increase the spot size so it picks up a lot more of the thing image, whatever it is. Um, now let's go ahead and go down to uh, noise reduction, denoise, denoise, denoise. There we go. This is it. And we're going to see what we can do from here. Let's go ahead and uh, first off, we want to see what is selecting. So, is it shape detection or not? Preview EAE. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and put this on aggressive and it's going to show you where it's putting the noise reduction. That looks pretty good, that's look, that looks pretty good, but we can go ahead and reduce it in certain areas. I think I don't want it. Uh, we can have some in there as well. Uh, this is all gonna go, so let's put this back to two actually. I think we'll leave you at two just for demonstration purposes. I think it'll be okay. So all the green areas, that's where it's going to put the noise on, uh, noise reduction. And if we go down, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put this to the max. And uh, now this will reduce more detail, but let's go ahead and, oh, that actually looks pretty good. It is a bit noisy in these dark areas, um, but that actually looks pretty good. There we go. That's it. We've done noise reduction in raw therapy. So there we go. As you can see, a much cleaner image. The detail is not so bad. And the shadows are very clean. And so is this side. Ooh, that is really nice. I'm actually impressed with my own self. Let's try on some sharpening. I think we might be able to get away with something. Uh, we put this on. There we go. Look at that. So now we've added more detail, and you can see that it looks pretty nice. Yeah, there's the before and after. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, if you've got any tips to improve on the noise reduction, I would like to know. That would be very cool. If you have any questions and anything you're stuck on, ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in another video.